Here's something we like. Not all the news in our community is bad news. Tonight, we meet two men, a Stanford professor and a diversity leader at the Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. We see what can happen when two high school buddies put their heads together to make a difference. Here's NBC's Cheryl Hurd. Kevin Nichols loves the Bay Area. That's why he is investing in it in his way, by reaching out to black and brown students and introducing them to science. Someone from Berkeley Lab just won a Nobel Peace Prize in physics. If we don't get African-American students particularly interested in chemistry and physics and math and science, no one's going to really pursue the next item, the, new, the next scientific discovery, because there's no incentive to. Ten years ago, he didn't know his high school friend had the same thoughts, but he soon found that out. Back in 2012, Stanford Graduate School of Education professor and former science teacher, Dr. Brian Brown, was awarded a grant from the National Science Foundation to teach students from historically black colleges and universities culturally relevant STEM curriculum that he developed for middle school aged students. As a byproduct of this research, these students would lead a week-long day camp at Stanford that he coined Science in the City. We want our young people to see themselves as future physicians, biologists, biochemists, engineers, and the only way to do that is to give them experiences early on. Dr. Brown needed middle school students to participate in the camp, and that's where he tapped his high school friend, Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory diversity leader, Kevin Nichols, to help attract students to participate in the program. I have a pretty decent network, so when I put it out there, we got a lot of students to um, participate. I find that young people love science, they just don't know it yet. And so part of the, the joke is that if you leave a kid with us for a week, we're going to send you home with the scientists. Brian and Kevin secured a grant to run the science in the city for two years. The grant money ran out in the third year. There aren't a lot of companies that really want to invest in chemistry and physics and traditional engineering. So we have to reshape the way we look at the future. Eventually, Nichols was able to secure funding from Google allowing the social engineering project to continue. The emphasis is on getting black and brown students who would normally not get exposed to science interested. The project sponsors camps at Stanford and other locations. More money is needed for it to continue. So in order for us to be able to thrive here in the Bay Area, we need help. You know, we need partnerships with tech companies, we need municipalities and, and county and state organizations to support us. That financial support will help expose young people like Naomi and Troy Coleman to careers they never dreamed of. This year, when I went to Science in the City, it was extremely fun and I had so many friends there and I'd love to continue going to that camp. When I thought of scientists, I didn't really think of people who look like me. If you can really get into how science applies to our life and the fun things that you get to learn about, um, it really opened my mind. So far, this project has opened the minds of a couple thousand underrepresented students of color. The goal is to reach thousands more. Cheryl Hurd, NBC Bay Area News.